Hey everyone, today I thought I'd hop online and just talk about some of the more advanced work that I'm doing with water. So as many of you know, I have been taking macroscopic photographs of water after it has been influenced in some way, whether that's through photographs or music or conscious thought or intention or all these kinds of things. And water seems to be able to reveal its understanding and comprehension of these influences as it begins to freeze and it freezes in an artistic form very relative to the influence so I can think of a hand and you'll see the hand in the ice so I have been doing that for years and years and years and I no longer feel the need to prove that water is responsive artistically in that way what interests me much more is what water has to say originally. So what I mean by originally is that water has original thought. It's not just coming from me. It's not just coming from the external influences around it. It seems to have its own original voice. And that's very interesting to me. Now I'm working on something called hydroglyphs. In the same way that a hieroglyph is an artistic image which has layered meaning, water is able to have artistic images that repeat that have also got layered meaning. Well, what do I mean by all of this? Well, what I'm saying is that for the last few years, this is something I've been working on for about three and a half years or so, I started doing repeat studies. Uh, my, my friend and mentor, Dr. Gerald Pollock, said, look, these repeat studies that you do with water are very important because they show that this isn't coincidental. So if you, any of you have had read my book, The Secret Intelligence of Water, you might have seen the chapter that covers repeat studies. And I've used different uh, influences like music, like thought, like pictures, to see if water will repeat uh, imagery. One very clear example is when I used the song uh, Stairway to Heaven and in each uh, image and each test that I did which was uh, over 10 uh, there was a stairway in that image. So what does that stairway mean? Just because we see a stairway in the image that came from the song Stairway to Heaven, why are we seeing a staircase like what does that 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 ladder like staircase mean does it mean stairway does it mean climbing up something like what does it mean so to get one hydroglyph i have to have seen a an influence uh so I'll, re I'll rephrase that so i have to have seen water respond in the same image from the same influence at least 50 times. So I know for sure this is not a coincidental um, image that's appearing from, this, from this, this influence. So I was thinking, because I kept seeing these repeat, repeated images in Stairway to Heaven, for example, why am I seeing a stairway um, why why is it repeating like what does that mean does it actually mean stairway so i continued doing that but i didn't just use the song stairway to heaven because i wanted to get much more specific i i used the word stairway i wrote it down i put it on top a petri dish on top of it and froze it and i got the stair stairway the same exact type of stairway I also said the word stairway and I got the stairway. So I'm like, okay, stairway is a hydroglyph. So it's well over 50 examples of that. So, so it's interesting that water picked up the word stairway and stairway to heaven and chose to reveal that, that it has an image to mean that. So I'm like, okay, they're just in, as in hieroglyphs have layered meaning. Uh, maybe there's layered meaning in this stairway. So I got that rudimentary word stairway. And then I thought, well, does that also mean to climb up something, to advance up 
something. So I started using words mostly as my influences for these hydroglyphs because they're very specific. So I wrote the words climb up and I still got the stairway. I'm like, okay, so it means stairway, but it also means to climb up something. And so I have 30 of these hydroglyphs Obviously, one is this one I just covered, which is this climbing up the stairway glyph. I also have the hydroglyph for money, and I have a hydroglyph for danger, or danger has layered meanings. So the hydroglyph for danger um, is kind of a warning, is actually a dagger, and that stemmed from the dagger glyph, which I have, um, which I organically did, my son and I were talking about something or other, and we, anyway, he, there was a dagger that appeared in, um, in the ice test that we did after being influenced by the idea of a dagger. So that was very interesting, and actually I've, done, I've used the word pugioni, hopefully I'm saying that right, my Latin teacher would be very proud if I'm saying it right, but I, you know, I don't really know. Um, so I wrote the word Pugioni, which means dagger in Latin, and put my petri dish of water over the top of it, and I got this dagger. But I, as I'm doing so many ice tests, and every day I'm doing tests, I start to see this dagger appear quite often in various different things. And I'm like, okay, this dagger seems to just, I keep seeing it everywhere. Like, what does it mean? So I started to use the word dagger as my influence. I wrote it multiple times. I kept getting a dagger. So I'm like, okay, this glyph, this picture of a dagger means dagger. So like, what else could it mean? Uh, why am I seeing it? Because I'm not seeing daggers everywhere around me. So what does it mean? So I started to think, well, you know, um, when we did, when I wrote that word Pugioni, I was, um, thinking of the idea of a, of what a dagger means. It's like someone stabbing you in the back. So I kind of then led to, well, could it possibly mean danger? Uh, so I wrote the word danger and I put my Petri dish over the top of that. And sure enough, I got this dagger glyph. And you have to understand this takes me ages. So it can take me a whole year sometimes um, to do these repeated tests and to get these layered meanings. And uh, it's not just some simple quick quick thing where I'm like, oh, here's another hydroglyph. Actually, it takes a long time to be really accurate with it. And so over the course of time, I've learned that the dagger glyph is also meaning uh, danger, like be careful. And so it also means physical or emotional or spiritual pain. Uh, so the dagger glyph has, has a lot of layered meaning. It can mean danger or be, be careful. It can mean uh, that you are in physical, emotional or spiritual pain. Uh, and um, and it, it, it has I'm starting to work on other meanings that it might have, but it, but it, it is something where you just need to be careful. Maybe there is something of which you can't see yet that water is saying, just be a little bit careful. And a good example of putting hydroglyphs together is I have, as many of you may even be part of, a, a private Facebook group specifically for people that are working with my technique and we're getting amazing results. Why I'm doing this is to prove that other people can do this work and not just me and that water really can do this because I still have lots of people going, I don't really believe this. This is just too unbelievable. Uh, and sometimes, you know, fact is stranger than fiction. And these are very real. People are showing that they're getting imagery too, which is so cool. And one of the newcomers that came into the group, he said his, his daughter had um, done uh, a um, some crystallography and he showed the photograph and I saw the dagger. I saw three daggers in her image as well as uh, the staircase. 
and I'm like, oh, okay, I'm gonna say something here. So I, I wrote, look, I've been working on this project called Hydroglyphs. I can see, see, see these glyphs in, in this design. Uh, so what I what I'm, think it's saying is that your daughter needs to be careful if she's climbing up something. Maybe just let her know. And the man responded going, oh my God, <laughs> we're actually going to this um, climbing kind of adventure park called Ape Go Ape or something like that. So I'll make sure she's super careful. And it just um, showed me that this is really a very sophisticated um, and advanced language, which is which is also sharing things of which we might not even see coming yet. And with the amount of glyphs that I have, 30 might not sound like, not, might not sound like I have a lot, but when you know what they are, it has a lot of meaning, a lot to say, especially with layered meaning. So there is a sophisticated language that I'm reading in ICE um, with these different, uh, this different work that water is doing with me, I am not uh, taking credit for um, what water is revealing. Water has is water is wild. Let me just say that I am. I see that all the time. Water has its own idea about everything, <laughs> and what I'm seeing revealed is coming from water. That's what I what I meant when I was talking about original thought. Water is, seems to have its own original thoughts and it's communicating with me in these in, in, in a language. In, a, in an actual language. And I mean, this is mind blowing because this is a liquid water going into the freezer and it's coming out with picture words that you can put together that have have something to say can you imagine so i'll i'll leave it at that um i am being filmed for a mini series where we will go into depth about these hydroglyphs and we're starting to ask some really big questions to water and getting responses that are really incredible um, I, I really can't wait to start sharing this more with the world because when you see the level of sophistication, it kind of goes from, from the level of just water showing that it can, you know, take a look at a flower, look at a flower image, and then repeat the flower image. A lot of people still getting their head, heads around that. But then you take it like a whole nother level forward, and we're talking like a massive quantum leap forward. And we're seeing that water has a language that we can read. I mean, it's pretty incredible. And it takes up a lot of my time. Uh, and I just am kind of obsessed with it. And each, each day I'm thinking of more words that uh, water may like to, to repeat, to show me. And I, I think that the 30 that I've got are the 30 that I need to have. So I never question water's um, revelations to me. I honor and respect water's decisions. I know I use a lot of words that seem so human, but by molecular count, not by volume, by molecular count, we're 99% water. We are bodies of water. Uh, and I'm communicating with another body of water that just happens to not be in a body like ours, but it's the intelligence without the body. So I respect what it's telling me is exactly what the world needs to hear right now.